Amusu is fallen. The God King is slain. Praise be to Empress Celadora who struck the decisive blow. Glory be. Absolute glory fucking be. <laughs> Blackmail everyone with good rulers for gold. You know I totally could, because... I mean, it's it's definitely something that you kind of should be a little bit afraid of, right? If you've got a 666 and I can set you back to, like, a 411 if you're um, uh, a Republic, like, that would be debilitating. Like, so painful. Yeah, fear my fucking name. After donning the relic armor, perhaps the Empress once more wishes to lead her loyal legions and put... I am not making Celadora a general. Not a chance. Don't even... Don't even tempt that. That's not gonna happen. She's been my ruler since the very start of the game. I'm not gonna waste her to, to, to win a battle. Nah, 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 nah. So, Vanraha... I don't know what his plan is, right? Because Vanraha is currently being uh, subbed by Uhasalas, um, instead of Vera, who is the, the usual player. So I don't know what um, he's been told to, to do. Could be to murder, could be not. I don't know. Obviously, we'll continue to uh, build our golden highway. It's looking pretty good. Let's have a look. How far does it go? All right, we still need to connect it through Duklam, Edus Vasin, and Khufu. Um... But then it goes... It doesn't go all the way. It needs to go through Zagu and Jukanax. Um Unfortunately, if I owned just Davarol, like, we'd be able to build the Far Sathad one as well. Oh, oh, oh. You slipped through the net. Order of Exemplars on you. Oh, and someone else. We don't be liking them slipping through... Oh my god. How many have I missed? And I know I can do it in my vassal's land. I don't know whether I get to do it again in the vassal's land when it becomes mine. Like, that would be pretty dope. If I could double down on it. We'll have a we'll have a good look. So I don't mind spending a bunch of mill points. We were, we're ahead of time. We're getting you and... Oh, I've just... <laughs> I've just slowed it down by giving them a bunch of dev, but they're going to be annexed relatively soon. Oh yeah, like 10 months. Within a year, they're going to be annexed. In a sense, after army modifiers, perhaps a second Vanrahal war is predetermined to happen in the near future. Well, I ha by the rules, I have to leave him at least five years. What is predetermined, though, is me taking Nolakaz, so Keterada doesn't eat the rest of it. So we'll have a couple of uh, mini wars, why not? Come here, motherfucker. I just want to kill your army first. Remove it as an issue. So now that that's dead... I don't know why I keep getting the infiltrated thing. I'm not sure why that's happening. It doesn't make much sense to me. All right, so we wait for our cannon stack to march down, because there's a fort there that I want to immediately take. Uh, Corvuria. I'm at six out of six. I'm literally... Oh, actually, I got military access with you. Just cancel my military access. And I'm about to get rid of Arketa, so... I say, if Vern and Corvuria fight each other, I'm not getting involved. Not my problem. Not my place. I am good. Come on. Win a bloody siege. Tons of military points. 71, come on. Oh my Jesus. Can I not be allied with somebody who's allied to the first, third, and fourth great powers? He's using your alliance to take provinces on my mainland and protect himself from us taking it back. I... Not my place. Oh, really? I don't have a claim on this guy. God, it is so sketchy having that right above building spy network. Because when I do spy network, I click, click the button and then see immediately. That is so close to dodgy. Integration of Ahaketa. Fantastic. Now... Oh my god, that's so dope. Yes, we'll do it again. And we'll do it again. We'll do it again. Well, actually, that didn't have it. But we'll do it again here as well. Oh, I'm out of mill points. But does it show it twice, I wonder? Where is the defensiveness? Where does it show defensive here? 
No, Order of the Empire is only there once. Okay, that's fine then. So yeah, I need to just fabricate a claim on him and then attack him. But yeah, 630 manpower maximum. It's pretty, pretty dope. It's pretty, pretty, pretty dope. And Annex Vassal, 548. It is what it is. Oh, we can enact a 25-year plan. I am going to just make you level 5 because I think that helps. So, let us begin the five-year plan. 91% chance of enacting it correctly. Please, please, pretty please. Hey, 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 let's enact, let's enact the military's plan, that discipline. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do that, I think I'll do that, that's fine. It's perfect, it's dope. And we'll continue to build manufactories because the manufactories uh, thing is coming up relatively, well, I say relatively soon, it's not that soon. We also haven't embraced global trade yet, so we should probably save up for that. Uh, Manufactory is 1650, so I want to have, I'd love to have it in my nation. I really, really would. Yeah, I think uh, if it is a war between Corvuria and Vern, I think Vern's probably got this. Obviously, it depends on allies as well. He's got Silverforge, Edenica, Saren, Va Oh my god, that's so many allies, man. That's so many allies. You don't, you don't need more than, you don't need me. I'm not going to take it away because I'm missing a diplomat. You really, like, that's that's a bit excessive. Lawrence, Silverforge, Edenica, Phoenix Empire, and Sirenvar. Nah. No, I'm not about that life. So I'm going to wait until this is done. Vern considered a great power. Let's actually have a look at this list. I am the lead, even though I haven't got one of the institutions. Verka Gulen has sabotaged our military recruitment. Oh no! We only get... 6,000 a month now? <laughs> what am I going to do? Will I be like the filthy dwarves and betray my old ally? It's not a betrayal. I've said from the start that I wouldn't get involved there. If I'd said I was going to get involved and then I didn't get involved, that would be a betrayal. Anyway, let's uh, murder this guy. So Vern's got Ad Shaw as an ally. And a couple of Cores in the blade matches. Don't know where he got those from. But there is probably going to be a, a war between Corvuria and Vern. I just hope Corvuria doesn't like call in all of this because that would be kind of fucked up. I don't know. Like that's that's a hug box. <laughs> that's why I did I dissolved the alliance. I don't like hug boxes. I don't want to be a part of one. All right. Can I have all of this? Yes. Whatever. I don't need your money. We'll core it all up. And we'll make sure that we're expelling gnolls. Begin the expulsion of the gnoll kind. Be nice if there was somebody da somewhere down there that I could stand without getting overextension. Also look at that, 97%. Could have been horrifying. Actually dope. Cheap halfling workers. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I like I like halflings and I want more of them because they're pretty good. I think I've got some in Attack Bahar. Now where do I have halflings? Halfling, there it is. They're coexisting right now, so unrest and state maintenance goes up, but the development cost and trade power, it's like really good. So I kind of want to have them integrated. So the top one is the one I want to go with. I don't want to go into debt, so I'm just going to leave that to the side. So we have one more year, sorry, month, and then I've got enough for this without taking debt, so it's just perfect. What is this? It is the brave or the foolhardy you bring a gift to the Empress purchased at Erinil's oddities, the Kalibi store run by Erinil the Strange for centuries, whose wares are never the same twice and never ever found anywhere else in Bulwar. That said, it must have happened at some point in the past few decades, for that is the only possibility, uh, possibly provenance of today's shocking scene in Bulwar. The treasury was undergoing a careful inventory when suddenly it rang with a series of loud explosions. Apparently one of the guards had put his tea down on a dusty mahogany table that languished amidst the other never-used gifts, and that act must have triggered some long-forgotten contingency spell. The table was instantly transmuted into a collection of spell tablets which date at least to the Age of God Kings. The Mage Guild is clamoring for access to these, saying it will revolutionize their craft, but the guard claims to have been imbued with some of the same magic that revealed them. And as long as we are willing to provide him with a copious tea, he'll be able to master their knowledge in a way none other could. 
Uh, dope. Uh, I'll take the half price court mage. Yeah, half price court mage. Because currently I have a full price court mage, and if I can swap him for a half price court mage, uh, I'm totally down for that. I just got a message, didn't I? Looks like the empire shall fall. Oh shit. This is great news. Why? Oh boy! Holy shit! That is huge war. Uh, what is this? Attacker against Laurent. How, how has this happened? This is insanity. Oh, Blade Matches and Estel also joined in. Oh my god. So Small Country and Gawed, they're not involved yet. But oh my god. Okay, so I thought immediately, oh shit. But then to see Estel and Blade Matches probably versus Edenica, if I was to guess. It is Estil. Yeah, Estil versus Adenica. Oh, I kind of want to get involved in that. But I don't know which side. Which side do I join? <laughs> One year to the end of the ceasefire with Van Raha. Yeah. We started in 1608. Wait, no. We could do it now if we wanted to. Estil, Escani Wars of Consolidation. Oh boy. <laughs> so huge. That is so huge. Oh, eight shock general. Oh my god. That's mad. That's such a huge, huge battle. Is there any reinforcements, though, for either side? Like, I don't see any from Vern. Does Anvincost have anything else? Does not look like it. Cannon's not on the front row yet, though, so if they were to just appear... No, no, over. 68,000 troops is all you have. This is it. That's his entire force. Okay. The Emperor is trying to defend himself. He sent out a fleet. Eight heavies versus 14. 24 galleys versus eight, though, so that's something, but it's not enough. I was scared for a moment that the small countries were going to get involved in that. Oh my god, it's going to be close. Although it is just Laurent that is losing ships right now. There's one, two ships lost for Vern. Only one heavy ship deployed. He started deploying transports. It's all over. It's all over. As soon as the transports get on there, it's, it's like, you might as well retreat. You're just losing ships for no reason. Yeah, and he gained a heavy out of it as well. See, I could get involved, and I have reason to be on either side, so... I don't know. I think I like what Gawed and Small Country and Telgear are doing. Because I quite like Small Country and Telgear. These guys are pretty friendly with me. Um, no reason to be angry at Gawed either. I'm pretty chill with them all. Oh my god. They've crossed over. The nation of Corvuria requests your aid. We will not march north in defense of the Empire. It is not happening. I'm done defending the fucking empire. Because the emperor is a dick. <laughs> and I'm just not. I'm not about that life. Lambert. Wow. Yeah? Would you would you be willing to sell one province for a second when you integrate the vassal? No. Okay. Second Eastern Crusade. I mean, yeah, that's kind of what I'm, I want to do. I think I'll wait until these Nolikazi separatists are, like, not an issue. Save up a bit of money as well. I think actually what I want to do is um, save up money to get uh, global trade. That's an extra merchant. So that's never a bad thing, you know. There's such a huge battle going on. Vern's lost. He's going to get... Yeah, he's, he's, he's not going to win this war. Now that Adenica is free from, you know, Estil, it's... Uh, they're all going to pile on Vern. Oof. That's rough. I mean, naval dominance is still Vern's. So if Small Country and Gawad don't give access to Lorenz the Emperor, so he can, he's can he got access regardless, he could just march this way instead. Or even if the, this gets blocked, he can march all the way around. Like, I don't, I don't see a way for Vern to win here. Another battle here.
there's too many cannons here. You've got what, 21,000 reserves, you've got 76,000 reserves, it's 20,000, 16,000, another 26,000. I think Vern would have had enough, but not taking a battle in the plains. Like, take a battle in this woodland fort, backing up to this highland fort, something along those lines would probably be, like, your best bet. But yeah, driving the Corvarines out is probably going to be a lot easier than fighting this mess. Oh, Resincan's also in a player war. What is this all about? Resincan versus Chaos. Uh, but not Eordland. Chaos and Zurizmexia. Eordland declaring that's another player war. Man, there's so many player wars going on. I can get involved in one of them. Eordland versus... Gowed and Small Country have joined in on their side. So yeah, three player, uh, three great powers versus one. I am not joining that, but it's fun regardless. Great timing. <laughs> So expensive for mercenaries. Compare stats with Vanraha. Yeah, so army quality comparison, uh, players, rivals. Uh, for morale, Vern's at the top actually. Uh, but Vanraha. No way. Oh, he's got his um, thingy down. That's okay. Uh, discipline, I'm at 115. We got Van Rahar. 105. Um, honestly, most of these stats aren't important compared to they've got better pips than we do. Ooh. I did I just see Vern drive them back? Why did Laurent not get involved in that? Very silly. They should have. Oh, and he didn't run away far enough, so Vern's on the counter. Oh my god. He should have run further. Looks like he's doing pretty well on his own. Has he gone into debt for it, though? Tooth out. 21,000. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Well, you're occupied by Adshaw. Right, because Estil is, and Blade March is pieced out, but Adshaw is in this original war. So Adshaw also just had free reign to full siege Adenica. Interesting. Also, what did Adenica lose? This and this. Alright. I am a little bit... Uh, I, I can feel the nerves and stress starting to build. It is, it is a thing. Well, like, look at that. Prestige is at negative 0.4. Mine's at plus 10%. <laughs> and the power projection is also uh, plus 10% for me. Yeah, Vanuhari tradition is plus 20%. The army tradition is there. Uh, be ready for the dwarven dwarves. Yep, I know. 